Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, another arrival from eBay. I was going to do the grand unboxing, but of course I opened this thing and it was stuffed full of styrofoam peanuts, as usual. So anyway, I had to pull those out before I could get this out of here. I found this on eBay. It's a Lionel 8200 dockside switcher. And I've been wanting one of these things. I think they're cute. And in this case, this locomotive is virtually new. And I saw this on eBay and then the guy, whoops, made the guy an offer on it and he accepted it. And uh, it is in really, really decent shape. It's a tiny little switcher, as you see. Let me grab the camera off the tripod. Now, the problem with these, of course, is that they are DC. So this is a bottom of the line uh, Lionel locomotive. Uh, ran on a small DC uh, transformer. So if you try to run this on AC, this is what happens. As you see, it will not run on AC at all. So, as an expedient, what I'm going to do, you know, a lot of people will buy these things and they'll swap out the motor. It's a lot of work when all you have to do is install a diode. So I've got some diodes here that I picked up on eBay. Let me put the camera back on the tripod. And uh, what I will do, of course, is add a diode directly on the motor. For now, we can add the diode directly on the transformer. Now you saw that it will not run at all. So we take our diode, and diodes are called semiconductors. And the reason they call them that, of course, is they only conduct electricity in one direction. In this case, there's a line around one end of the diode. This will conduct electricity in this direction. So what we can do is go to a transformer. Let me see if I can get this on video. So we can go to a transformer. This, that's a standard AC transformer. And just using one diode, we can add this to the transformer. You don't need two. You can do it with one. And then I've got a magnetic lock on on that same rail with clip leads on it. So we can clip this on here, clip this one on here, and as you see. Now the interesting thing about this, of course, is if I reverse the wires, I also reverse the direction. So it's a really, really simple way to get around, and like I said, it's an expedient, and I can just uh, add the diode directly to the motor, and it will be a standard locomotive. It'll run on AC. So let me get this tripod out of the way. Anyway, diodes, it's a good trick to know. So I uh, did some reading on this locomotive, and uh, found out that it was DC, so I had this uh, lock on prepared and just hooked it up uh, to a single diode, as you see. And like I said, I'll pull this apart, add a diode directly to the motor, and it will be up and running. So I uh, went through some of my junk parts and I added a Lionel coupler to the front of this tender, as you see. And I've got a Lionel caboose. So there's the switcher, the tender, and a caboose. So let's see how this runs. <laughs> now as you see, that runs absolutely splendidly. Just absolutely perfectly. I doubt if it has much pulling power, but it doesn't have any trouble pulling those two cars, that's for sure. So, no must, no fuss. So what I'll do is pull this apart, solder a diode directly onto the uh, motor, and you have a uh, AC motor that will uh, run on standard track power. Like I said, these diodes, you can go ahead and get these things really, really cheap. I got a whole strip of them for two bucks. 
So it's a great uh, expedient to be able to run DC locomotives on AC power. As you see, that is running really well. No doubt. Like I said, I've been wanting one of these things. They're small and they're really cute. So uh, let's stop this. Let's add another car. I'll go over to the uh, Lionel Consist and just grab a. I'll grab a gondola, and we'll add this to the Consist and see what this can actually pull. All right, so there's three cars behind this 8200 switcher. All right, no problem pulling that at all. Wow. So as you see, just adding a simple diode to the transformer itself, and you can run a DC locomotive on AC. It's really, really simple. Like I said, I'll just pull this apart, and I will solder a uh, diode directly onto the motor, and from then on, this will run on AC track power. So it's a really cute little locomotive. Like I said, I've been wanting one of these things, and uh, a AC version of this is quite expensive. I mean, that being a relative term, but you're talking about 40 bucks, 50 bucks, more than that sometimes. So I found this one, made the guy an offer on it. He had it on there for 20 bucks. I got it for 15. And like I said, the thing is like new. It is, it doesn't look like it's ever been used or run. So I made him an offer, he accepted, so it just got here. And uh, like I said, since it was DC, I think that's probably why no one bought it, is because you couldn't run it unless you wanted to use a battery pack or a, uh, a DC transformer, which most of them are not variable. In this case, you just add a simple diode to uh, the transformer, and like I said, I will pull this apart. It has a can motor in it. I'll just solder a di diode directly onto the motor. And from then on, it will run on AC, as you can see. Now, again, the thing about this is you can just reverse these wires. And it also reverses direction. So if I wanted to, I could put a switch in there and actually have forward and reverse. But I will very likely just uh, leave this as a forward-only locomotive. So as you see, just adding that simple diode and the locomotive runs absolutely perfectly. Now this will not run on AC at all. It'll just sit there and hop and you'll burn the motor up. But as you see, that works just absolutely perfectly. It's got an eccentric, it's got a, uh, a valve on it, so it actually looks pretty good, I think, as you see. And it's pulling those three cars with no problem. Let's stop it and we'll add, we grab one more car here. I'll grab another gondola, they're light. And we'll see how it works pulling four cars. Anyway, like I said, I've been wanting one of these little switchers. I think they're really cute. Cool little locomotive. All right, so now we have four cars. Let's see how we do. No problem at all. So like I said, it's a really, really simple way to convert a DC locomotive to AC. And if you don't want to take it apart, of course, you can just put the diode directly on the transformer like I've done here. But uh, I'll pull the motor out and uh, just solder the diode directly onto the motor, and it is then an AC locomotive. And as you see, that is running really, really well, pulling four cars at about 50% power on this transformer. So like I said, it's an expedient. It works. And uh, these diodes are really, really cheap. I got, I think there were six of them for two bucks. Free shipping. Came from China, of course, so it took three weeks to get here. But uh, there was a time you could just run down to Radio Shack and pick up a diode for 35 cents. But there are no more Radio Shacks, so I don't know of any local shop where you can just walk in and buy a diode these days. But in this case, it's a really, really simple expedient to convert a DC locomotive to AC. And as you see, that is running really, really well. 
And this little locomotive looks absolutely new, pulling four cars with no problem at all at 50% power on a 90 watt transformer. So I could probably put uh, six, maybe eight uh, cars behind this and it would still have plenty of power to pull it. So it's a neat little locomotive. Let's see how slow we can run it. As you see, runs absolutely perfectly on AC just by adding a single diode. Really, really simple to do this. Like I said, it's a neat little locomotive. I've been wanting a, a, a dock side switcher, but if you find a full size AC dock side switcher, they're big bucks. This way, like I said, it was a uh, really cheap way to get one of these locomotives and uh, did some research on it, knew it was uh, DC. So like I said, just add a simple diode to the transformer, as you see. And if you switch the wires, you also switch the direction. <coughs> Excuse me. So you could add a switch to the motor uh, for forward and reverse. I don't think I'm going to go to that much trouble. But as you see, this is a neat little locomotive. It was really inexpensive. It's virtually new. No one wanted it because it wouldn't run on AC power. But uh, just by adding a single diode, as you see, this little locomotive runs really, really well. And the grand total to add that diode was, I don't know, what, 15 cents maybe? I got, I think it was six of them for two bucks. And as you see, that runs just absolutely splendidly. So like I said, I'll just pull the motor out, uh, solder that diode directly onto the motor, and it from then on will be a AC locomotive. A really simple way to convert one of these uh, DC locomotives and it'll, this works on any DC locomotive and like I said you reverse the leads and you reverse the direction but you gotta admit that is a really cool looking little locomotive it was cheap nobody wanted it because it was DC and just by adding that simple diode it is up and running on track power and running really well pulling four Lionel cars. Like I said, I could probably add six, maybe eight. It does have a traction tire on it. And of course, it was designed to run on DC, which is why no one wanted it. So that's running really well. It looks neat. It's a great little uh, locomotive. It was really cheap and it's brand new, as you can see. There's not a mark on this locomotive. I don't think it's ever been used. Anyway, like I said, I contacted the guy, offered him 15 bucks, he accepted it. Here it is. It actually wasn't due till Monday. I got a uh, message from eBay that it had been delivered. So uh, when I was waiting for it, I took a uh, old Lionel uh, tender and added a Lionel uh, knuckle coupler to the front. Usually these have a slot, not a tab and slot, just a metal slot for the locomotive. And since this had a uh, knuckle coupler on it. I just added one to the tender and we have a full consist for this little dock side switcher. And as you see that's running just absolutely splendidly. I haven't done anything to it at all. With these can motors you don't have to usually do anything to them at all including lubrication except for the gears themselves. It's really light and yet it's pulling that uh, four car consist with no problem at all. Like I said, if you want to go to the effort of uh, adding a switch to it, you can put a front coupler on it and actually use it as a switcher, running it forward and reverse. So a really uh, great expedient, add a single diode either to the transformer to, uh, itself or directly to the motor, and you convert a DC locomotive to AC with no problem at all. In this case, it only took two seconds to do it just by putting that diode directly on the transformer. So like I said, today, tomorrow, I'll pull this thing apart, solder the diode onto the motor. From then on, it will be an AC locomotive. Anyway, I thought it was really cute. I've always wanted one of these things, but I just didn't want to spend the money. So when I saw this one, I figured all I had to do was add the diode and we're up and running. So just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, 
Feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.